The Stack Audio OVA 70 speaker isolators have great impact on the sound quality. As you might have seen, I have added them to my setup one. But at around 1000 euros for a set of eight, it might not fit everyone's budget. But now there is the OVA 50 at almost half the price. February 2023 I reviewed the OVA 70 speaker isolators and they stayed on the PMC loudspeakers in my setup 1 from that moment on. There is also a larger model, the OVA 100, measuring 100mm in diameter that has 5 cells containing the damping compound as where the OVA 70 has 3 cells. And now there is the OVA 50 that has 2 cells and a diameter of 50mm. The OVA 70s will set you back around 990 euros and the OVA 100 1460 euros. Worth their money for sure, but not fitting everyone's budget. That is where the OVA 50s come in. At 520 euros they cost almost half compared to the OVA 70s. Loudspeaker isolators are available from a large number of manufacturers as I have mentioned in my review of the OVA 70s. But they all use some kind of spring and damper system allowing for some movement of the loudspeakers. The spring damper properties depend on the weight of the loudspeaker and when chosen optimally the loudspeaker movement could be minimal, but not zero. The stack audio isolators work differently though. Each spike under a loudspeaker is replaced by an over isolator so you need 4 isolators per loudspeaker. The isolators are machined aluminium cases containing 2 to 5 cells depending on the model in which a mix of particles of amongst others tungsten powder. They convert kinetic energy into heat. Stack Audio has applied for patent and wisely does not want to disclose more until the patent is granted. The alphas form a solid mechanical connection between the loudspeaker and the floor while at the same time absorbing vibrations. For use on carpeted floors, three spikes per isolator are supplied. For solid floors, the isolators have felt pads. The OVA 50s measure 50 by 30 mm. The spikes are available in 15 and 25 mm height. Bolts and nuts are available in a wide variety to match the threads of the spikes on your speakers. Setting up is straightforward. Screw the bolt into the top of the OVA, screw on the locking nuts and when needed screw in the three spikes. Do the same for the three other OVAs. Then lay the speaker on its side so you can unscrew the spikes and screw in the OVAs. Place the speakers back and adjust the OVAs for a stable placement. Then finish installation by tightening the locking nuts. I mounted the OVA 50s to the PMC FAC 12 signature loudspeakers. The amplifier was the Air AX520 connected to the PMC's over AudioQuest Robinhood Zero loudspeaker cable. The Cord Dave did a digital to analog conversion and was connected to the Air over Grim Audio SQM XLR cables. The Grim Audio Mu1 digital player was connected to the DAVE over a network acoustics Mu1 AES EBU cable. Both the DAVE and the Grim were connected to the mains over a transparent power isolator 8. The connection from the Grim to the Zixel GS1900-10HP switch was over a network acoustics Mu1 Ethernet filter and cable. Connection to the internet is over CAT6 cable to the internet modem. From the Zixel switch a glass fiber connection goes to the Netgear ProSafe GS418TPP switch on the third floor where the Intel NUC 10i7 FNH running Rune Rock is connected over a CAT6 patch cable. So the NUC is the Rune server, the Grim Audio the Rune endpoint in this setup. An Apple iPad Pro was used to operate Rune. The room where the testing took place has a brick and mortar walls, ceiling and floor. On the concrete floor is an oak floor on a damping subfloor. 
The equipment was placed in the Creative Twin 3 rack. The Air Amp and the Grim Player were on Stack Audio OVA EQ CSA1 equipment isolators. Replacing the OVA 70s with the 50s was of course a step back, but the improvements compared to the standard ball tipped feet were still big. And compared to the spring and damper systems there still was a better projection of the instruments in space, better transients and lows. It's a kind of deblurring, a clean up in time. If you are sensitive to time smearing, the alphas are your best friend. Microdynamics, related to deblurring, improved also clearly. Funny enough, they also reduced mid-low blurring that I used to think were room modes. I'm not saying that they can replace room treatment when needed, but I'm sure you need less of it if you use the OVAs. Stack Audio states on their website that the OVAs also work on the speaker stands. So I mounted the OVA 50s under my old target speaker stands that carry the Acoustic Energy Radiance 1 loudspeakers. They were connected over Kimber 4PI loudspeaker cable to the Marantz PMKI Pearl Light Amplifier. The source in the setup 2A now is the Eversolo DMP A6 Master Edition. It is connected over Siltec London RCA cables to the amp and over CAT6 patch cable to the Optron Audio Ether Regen switch with Optron Audio Ultra Caps 1.2 power supply. From there a glass fibre connection goes to the main switch on the third floor, the Netgear ProSafe GS418 TPP. See about my reference setups May 2023 for more info. Links at the usual places. The floor on the third floor is concrete with carpet on top. To be honest, I didn't expect too much from playing with the OVAs under the target stands. Vibrations have to go from the speaker cabinets via the stands to the OVAs. That can hardly be effective. But I was wrong. The impact on the sound quality was far greater than I anticipated. Let's start with the stereo image that enlarged considerably and had far better detail and focus. Microdynamics clearly improved just as pace and rhythm. The improvement was such that if I had spent the same amount on electronics I would not achieve the same quality improvement. Normally I use setup 2A with a rel subwoofer, connected to the speaker terminals of the Marantz amp. For this test I initially left it switched off since I didn't have OVAs under the sub. But when, after the listening test, it was switched on again and with the OVAs still in situ, I was rather surprised how fantastic setup 2A now sounded. And when I started to think about it, it does make sense. Our hearing analyzes sound on the attack primarily. So not the low frequencies coming from the sub, but the combination of the low frequencies coming from the sub and the mid range coming from the left and right speakers. If the left and right speakers have less time smearing due to less vibration in the speakers and stands, our auditory system appreciates that. This is the third product by Stack Audio I have reviewed in a short time. And that has a reason. This new patent pending OVA technology does great things to your stereo. The OVA 50s bring it in reach of a larger public. The 30 day money back guarantee makes it easy to try them at home. But think before ordering if you can't spare the money. And on that bombshell we come to the end of this video. As usual there will be a new video next Friday at 5 pm Central European time. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to my channel or follow me on the social media so you will be informed when new videos are out. Help me reach even more people by giving this video a thumb up or link to this video in the social media. It is much appreciated. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and lets me improve the channel further. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you next Friday. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.